You ready? Hey, the best things in life are free. Like watching me do my thing out here. It's free. I should be sponsored by Bang Energy Drinks. I drink so much of this shit. I got it all the time, right? Just actually today. Bang Energy. Hey, guys. I'm out here right now for your viewing pleasure. Again, everybody on the internet has been doing these Dickens drills. Fucking cut it. Just... Okay, the Dickens drill. Eli Dickens, Greenwood Mall, Indiana. Good job. Combat marksmanship. Anybody will tell you that's outstanding marksmanship. 40 yards, 8 out of 10 hits, 15 seconds. I don't know how the hell we got this kind of data, but that's what we got. So I'm going to run the Eli Dickens drill with the revolver, combat magnum. And yes, we're using magnums. Okay, I'm at 40. When Reed Hendricks did this drill, he moved from 40 to 30. I have to incorporate a reload, all right? And I will tell you at this distance and with an active shooter, I'm gonna get in a kneeling position at some point if I have to. So here's to kind of ad lib. So apparently what this guy did, I just watched a video from Valor Ridge, Reed Hendricks. That guy's awesome. Semper Fi Reed, if you ever watch my channel. All right, anyway, he did the Dickens drill. He said 40 yards is where the guy started, moved to 30, and took these shots at more like 30 yards, okay? So there's different accounts coming out. So I commented to Reed and I said, look, if this was me, I wouldn't be doing it in the standing either. If you have a threat across the food court with a rifle, I'm gonna be getting in a kneeling and I'm gonna be going ahead and, and shooting from a kneeling position and behind cover, okay? To be realistic about it. So. Okay, Eli Dickens drill, 40, 30, kneeling, standing. I'm gonna have to do a reload in between to get to 10 rounds. So all you, you know, nine mil dudes, all you semi-automatic guys are gonna be like, yeah, that's why you carry a semi-automatic. Okay, bitch, if I can hit him two, three times with a 357 Magnum center mass, my hope is, God willing, that does the job, okay? but. We still need to assume 8 out of 10 is what we got to get here. So with that being said, I am held to the same standard as a semi-automatic. There ain't no special treatment here. All right, here we go. 40, 40 yards, 40 to 30, something like that. Again. Good. It should be 10 rounds. Okay, that's a pretty good shot right there. T-Box, Abdullah Oblongata, fight stopper. All up in the upper thoracic cavity is what we're looking for. But typically down in here, in the pelvic region, you hit somebody down in that pelvic region and shatter it, that's going to stop an active shooter. I'm not trying to make it, you know, where I, I could have shot better, guys, period. 40 yards, 50 yards is outside what I usually train with double action. So this kid had out, I don't care what weapon system he's using, 8 out of 10 hits at that distance with your heart rate jacked up, I can tell you is, is pretty impressive, okay? And that's coming from somebody that's had to use a rifle in combat, a grenade launcher in combat, okay? You think you're a good shot, you know, at the range with your buddy shooting fucking cans and shit, but when you're actually in a situation where, you know, you've got to take shots on human beings, you have a totally different game. You got sweat in your eyes. It's burning your eyes. You can't uh, see through your optic as well. It fogs up. All kinds of other factors come in where you find out this ain't just like shooting on a day at the range. So right now, trying to simulate this, okay, my best run being... Uh, Six out of ten, so not making par yet, but I'm gonna continue to uh, to practice at these distances and try and get that 15 second par time. Go ahead. 